Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Evan Iron and welcome to World of Tanks. Oh, I promised you guys a game of this three months ago and still didn't give it to you. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, only took me a while. Um, but yeah, anyway, here it is. And uh, this was actually a. Um, this tank that I'm using right now on the Scorpion Path Mac, map, a um, PlayStation exclusive is the M4A3E2. It's um, American medium tank. Very powerful. Has over 100 millimeters of frontal armor. Over 70 of side armor. And 50 at the rear. As well as 150 around the entire turret. So, quite strong. But, it's completely stock. I uh, This was my first ever game in the EZ2. On Scorpion Pass here, and this 4D decides to be a grand old bloke and give me a push up the hill. Because, well, let's face it, the um, E2's engine is, well, underpowered, to say the least. Uh, when it's stock, but when it's fully upgraded, it's pretty good. Gets a uh, very nice engine after you get all the upgrade packages on it as we push up to the middle hill here in the Scorpion's Pass. As we're pushing up there we spot a few tanks off to our um, to our west but we're not in immediate danger, it's only one medium tank and well, we have a couple over there and there's a light tank that's just popped up but yeah, World of Tanks. 15 vs 15. Tank based combat. Real time. I am I played this on PC and... On PC I played a lot of it and I found it a lot of fun. But playing at the launch of the game was absolutely hectic. This is on PlayStation 4. Because we got all the new people who didn't know much about the game. They were just going, hey look, I'm in a tank and... Some of them would be complete idiots and kill themselves quite early on, and others just would sit around and wait for everyone else to do something. You know, they, they didn't react very well, is what I should say. They didn't know where we should be headed to, so... Uh, pushing up on the hill here, there's a KV-220 in front of us, very strongly armed uh, Russian heavy tank. There's a T-50 over there, rushing our M3 Lee and Hetza. But more importantly, there's an M4 on our flank, so... With this 75mm gun... I take it out. There she goes. There's a 4D over there. Also threatening our flank. Start putting some shots out. Don't know if I hit. That one might have. I'm not sure. So, um, I'm turning back around to see what's around. There's a couple tanks over there, as well as that 220 that's still over there. Can I get shots on these? Can I? No. Alright, let's focus on this 220. The problem about this 75mm gun that you get on the stock Sherman is it's not very pow- it doesn't have a lot of penetration. I should have I, although I didn't have any, I should have packed some APCR ammunition, which has a much higher, um, much higher penetration than standard ammunition. I might have been able to get through his, uh, the front of his turret or his lower glacius. But all my fire to him is ineffectual, so I stop shooting, stop wasting credits, and just keep moving. Now... Take a look at the map there at A4 slash 5. We got a four we got a one tank destroyer over there. That's that um Hetzer that we saw earlier. Keep an eye on him, because he's about to run into a bit of trouble. There's one medium tank popped up. It's a tier six that he's facing, and another one. And he's gone. Leaving those two medium tanks with a direct run to our base. So as I'm keeping an eye on my map, I notice this instantly. I Call out attention to the team. Oi, fellas. We're about to get through over here. What are we doing? Yeah, come on. Defend the base. And fortunately, I do get some support. 
with the uh, Stug 33G heading back with me. A um, T5 German tank destroyer. It's a pretty good tank. I damn near run into it here as he stops unexpectedly on the hill. But I start rushing down to get back to the capture zone to engage this Panzer 4D and T3488 before they can start cap capturing. I'm able to get a decent lick of speed. This thing that its engine is okay on flat ground is atrocious going uphill, but downhill you're always going to get a good speed going downhill, especially as a vehicle, especially as I'm in a vehicle so heavy as heavy as the uh, Sherman. And there's the other tank that was with it, the uh, T-3488. Now, it's not a Russian tank, it's actually a German tank. It's a captured German tank, the uh, T-3485 is what it's meant to be, but it has a short 88 gun that is mounted on the Tiger 1 at tier 7, so it's got quite a powerful gun. I do some damage, but, you know, nothing major. There's a Panzer 38 NA over there. He won't be able to do anything. Even if he gets my rear, he can't do anything. Because he only has roughly 45 millimeters of penetration. Whereas I have over 50 millimeters of rear armor. Or it might be over 60. I don't know. I haven't checked the stats on this in a while. But as I'm spotted, I don't want to push into the cap circle because that 3488 might be able to get some side shots into me, might get a lucky ammo rack and kill me. So, I'd rather play it safe, and I pull back for a minute, then I go, no, I need to know where he is, and there he is. Just driving into the cap circle, put a shot into him on the moose, was lucky for that to hit. As I start pumping shells into him, as I try to get behind him to use for cover against the 38NA, and that KV-1S that you can just see off in the distance there. There's also another tank that you can't see at the moment sh shooting at me. But most of its fire is ineffectual. You can see it there missing. There's that KV-1S. And I don't want him on that much health. I track him, but he falls off and does a couple hundred damage to himself. So that's going to majorly help me. For instance, if that hadn't happened... I probably would have died here, to be brutally honest. Panzer 38 NA. That guy's annoying me. I want him dead. So I get a good shot, but not enough to kill him. Miss my second, and he just gets away. There is a medium take behind him, though, so he might get taken out. As I'm pushing up to deal with this KV-1S. But I just can't... No, he's disappeared. I can't get him. And that M4... That's what it is. It's just shooting at me. Have a shot at this 38 NA. Take the shot. Don't even know where that went. That just... Oh, no. It hit the ground. That's what happened. And then get a very unlucky bounce off the front of his turret there. And here comes the KV-1S. So, shoot him in the commander's hatch. Miss. Bounce off. Second one. Completely misses. So as he comes over, I shoot him in the lower glacius. Start back up, he, bl he hits me. M4 blows off my tracks, he hits me, but I can't miss his commander's hatch from there. I blow him to bits. Now I just gotta figure out where his M4 is. So I start aiming in, trying to figure out where he is, and then I see his tracer. So I start aiming there and start putting rounds down range, seeing if I can hit him and damage him. One of those shots hit and did damage. That one bounced. This one misses by a mile. Damn. Next one goes straight through the front of his turret. Next one goes straight through his side armor. So, first game in the Easy 2 Sherman Jumbo. Let's see how I did. 37,000 credits, almost 4,000 experience. I got the high caliber reward, I got the master tank badge, and the steel wool. Over 13,000 damage done, over 2,000 damage blocked. Master tanker is for get being in the top 99% of players within the last um, month or so. 
So anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. I will be putting up some more of these videos in the near future. I do have a few clips lying around. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.